Hello, this is Wolf from Tesla Owners US and today I am explaining you the far beige egg of a car or of an SUV and that is the Model X. So you really would be driving a very special car and as a very unique car and it comes after this intro. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Yeah, hi guys, I explain you the car, how you would be driving it. Uh, the, the first thing what I would need is your driver's license. So you should have a valid driver's license, which is not expired. You should be 30 years old. Sometimes we do exceptions, but you would have to justify that. And uh, this car is a high performance car if you buy it unlimited. By standard, it comes with power limited mode and also speed limit after up to 80 miles per hour. Uh, this saves you from a lot of speeding tickets because this is a very powerful car. Even as an SUV, you can drive it up to uh, very fast acceleration, uh, close to or just below five seconds, zero to 60. And then let me go through all of the things what you would need to consider. Uh, first one, this car has roadside assistance. There's a phone number you can call if something happens. It's 877-798-3752. And uh, you can use them in case you get a flat tire and something is wrong with the car. Sure that you can call me also under my phone number, personal phone number. However, you cannot drive out of the lower 48 states. You cannot drive to Mexico or Canada. Uh, you cannot drive to Alaska or uh, even on an island. I don't mean Hawaii, but as on an island. So there were people before who tried to drive uh, my cars to very close to the border. Actually, there was one guy who was about uh, that's 300 feet away from the border in Nogales. Yeah, this is all have a reason and do not drive this car empty. Uh, if that car goes close to empty, uh, check where the next charger is and reduce your speed. Reduce your speed up to 35 miles per hour. You probably could get twice as long, twice as far in the distance. And then you might want to consider also uh, to have some other electric consumptions and lower these. Uh, this car is supercharger capable and it comes with free supercharging. So if you are on a longer trip, you can plug into all of the supercharger network. It, I'm going to show you that here as well. You would have to press here on the screen the flash or the lightning and then the superchargers are coming up or also destination chargers coming up. Superchargers are being recognizable from the red dots and destination chargers are you can recognize by the gray dots. Uh, you can browse here in those chargers and you can let the system navigate you to this charger. At that time, if you are in a crunch, you should go to a supercharger and charge that car. It comes with 100 free miles. Every additional mile will be a dollar fifty more. 100 free miles per day. So if you have it a couple of days, I think uh, for a nice vacation in the mountains, it should be really easy. Yeah, it has chargers in the back as well. We provide you, provide you a, a UMC, Universal Mobile Charger, and which has a connector to 120 volt, to 240 volt and 50 amp outlet at any RV parks. United States had 1400 RV parks where you can stop and charge there, or you can charge there overnight as well. They will charge you a minimum fee because in the United States, in most of the states, you cannot make money on electricity. The only make money on electricity, what, you, what someone can make is the utility com companies and they make enough money on your electricity. The car comes photovoltaic charged with my photovoltaic system here. 
and the first uh, fuel or first battery charge is from uh, photovoltaic energy basically from the sun. Do not drive muddy or in dirty interior exterior, exterior. We will charge you a cleaning fee, an extraordinary cleaning fee if that happens. Uh, the mobile chargers. Uh, if you're losing the mobile chargers, it will be a $500 fee or for every adapter $50 with the exception to the J7072 to the regular Tesla adapter. From, from that one, from the public charging adapter to a Tesla uh, plug, this will be about $1995. And yeah, but this is all about chargers. You should use a plug share app for your iPhone or Android with this app for electricity, how to find out where you can find free electricity. PlugShare, for example, is one. Uh, there are multiple others, one where you can check can I get free electricity in the United States? And some hotels, some uh, chains, or some uh, customer service uh, co companies with good customer service do offer for you free charging while the, the time you are there and maybe be in a restaurant or any other a nice location. The navigation system is very good, it's very accurate. Uh, on here. The best thing is you use the navigation system because it also uh, checks for detours uh, on the way to your destination and if you have toll roads on or ferries on or off they are uh, in the settings where you can change the settings there. You can avoid even toll roads. For example Oklahoma has toll roads or some other uh, states in the east of the United States and I think in California there might be also some toll roads. Whereas the horn, like usually in the car, is in the middle. You press it down and there is the horn. The emergency is actually here next to the screen on the left side. There is a triangle there. And on the right side, there is the glove box. When you open that glove box, there, there is the insurance information is in the glove box, as well as the registration in case someone is asking for that. Get yourself familiar with this movie and uh, I'll explain a little bit more about that or through uh, Tesla by tesla.com slash support you will see a couple of movies about the Model X and how to operate that car. I explain you more about the car. We will uh, notice your startage mileage. I can do that remotely and when you return. If you have a second driver, you have to register that second driver with me and with any third party. Please give us that second driver. Uh, you cannot deactivate remote control because it protects you in case your key is lost. The key actually looks like a regular car or looks here like the Model S. Here on the top, it opened twice on the top, it actually it will open the front, the, side, the door on the, on the left side, on the driver's side. Double, double click on again on the top. It will open the drawer on the passenger side. Those two uh, buttons here on the side will open the wings of the car. The front one will open the front where there's still room in the front. The back one will open the back. If I double click on that, you should see, yeah, it's opening up in the back. If you double click it again, it's closing. This is a five seater. The car is also available as a six seater, which I like that configuration as well, because they are the middle row is there uh, free or as a seven seater. You might have that seen that car in white where it's transporting from Model S. There are two uh, astronauts uh, from uh, Kennedy Space Center by driving it to the launch pad. SpaceX uh, got from Tesla sponsored because those two companies have the same CEO and they got sponsored to drive that car. If you want to drive that car, feel like an astronaut if you want to. You would have to sign me this paper as well, make a copy of that and uh, or make a photo of that, send it to my text for that. This is the acceptation for that. What you also would have to sign is, oh, in case you need any, see any problems, notice that on the back side here, 
There, there is the shape of the car, wherever is a problem, please notice that. Additionally, if you want to give me an interview, you can. So I come to that one, there's a limit photo and video release and on the back side, the newest one is the uh, Adanum for the COVID-19 Nobility waiver. So even the car is being sanitized before you get it, it could I could not guarantee what happened in between or so that uh, the car will be completely sanitized before and after. That's why it become a little bit more expensive for you, but you should be feeling safe and clean when you are getting that car. So let me explain you a little bit more around this car here as well. I got to turn the camera around and let's see if I can match it nicely up. This car is a little bit customized. It actually has a black and white steering wheel, as you can see from here. That black and white steering wheel is, there's that ultra leather, the same as what you have here on the seats or on the panels. And it has this navigation screen, a huge one. First one here is the driver screen. When you look at that driver screen there, yeah, you can see the consumption here, you can see, can see the car and you can see the battery status. The battery status here shows currently 245 miles. If you get it, it should be a 90% charged, about 260 miles on that car. 100% uh, should is more, it will be about 270 miles, 280 miles approximately. When you press this button here on the bottom here, you can see all of the navigation for the car. I do not go through the details of those. Everything will should be maintained for you. Here is the suspension. It, up to, it automatically lowers at 50 miles per hour. You can see it set it even lower. If you are driving slower, the suspension goes up again. Here are the light settings. It's all set on automatic. Here are the driver settings. Currently acceleration is standard. You might have purchased that in chill mode. You can only change that if you know the password or I, if I do that remotely. Then here for the steering mode, it's currently on sport. You can change that to standard or comfort. Then for the regenerative braking, it's currently on standard. And you can also have it on low, then the car coasts longer. I usually turn the creep mode off. This is like behavior of an automatic uh, drivetrain where the car creeps slowly forward when it's idle. Range mode you can turn on if you're fearing of range. Trailer mode if you attach the trailer. Then from here there is also autopilot. Everything is displayed. You might get the speed warning in chime or in the display. You can maintain it uh, in relative and absolutely 10 miles more, 5 miles more. Then you also see here an early warning collision systems and all a lane departure system with an assist. This is all there, it's all included there, what you're getting there. You can see something about the vehicle and how it, sh how it should maintain. It's all being set up uh, as a standard. If you intend to change this, please let me know. You can change it as well if you have the access to that. Then there are trips. As a customer, in order to keep track of your mile, you should, should reset it to zero, then the car resets to zero. On the navigation, is everything is navigating, it's an online rerouting. In case you can save five minutes here, it reroutes you. Currently, it's not avoiding ferries, avoid toll roads, and use HOV lanes, high occupancy vehicles. Now, additionally, here, uh, this would be where the speed limit is. Here is where the sentry mode is. Currently, only at the work location, the sentry mode is being excluded. Otherwise, the car will be a complete recording if anything happens with the car or in, if there's any damage. All of the recordings we will use in case of a dispute, uh, in case you're coming to an accident, it will be all being safe there. There's a cabin overheat, what you can turn on in the heat times of in Arizona. When you have turned it on, the cabin will never heat over 100 Fahrenheit or 36, uh, 37 Celsius. Additionally, you can see service modes, really not uh, very important for you. Uh, uh, 
And then you can see also software updates. It's always to the newest software updated. Then from here, as I talked about this, here is the emergency light. Here is the glove box. If you open the glove box there in the back, there will be the uh, registration and insurance in there. You can uh, uh, try out all different kinds of music here. Uh, streaming, radio, uh, Spotify, tunneling and so on. You have all other options of calling, calendar in informations, energy, charging informations, web, entertainment. So for entertainment you have the possibility to play backgammon, chess or any other uh, games. For example if you're waiting and you have a whole toy box with all different kinds of stuff there. So if you want to try it out and you are get bored, just go ahead and try it out. Yeah, um, here is regular seat heating. Seat heating can also be maintained here for the back seats. It is also available. And here directly seating left and right side. This is for defrosting front and back. And here is additionally also for your uh, sound system loudness. Then you have for sure also uh, uh, speed control and, uh, and menu control here as well as uh, skipping songs or reversing songs and op options for sound and options for uh, fan speed if you want to include or increase or decrease the fan speed. The horn is here as you know. For that now let me go through the other functions. Most important functions what you have there and what you should use or can use is if you have the car in park then the door functions are open. This opens the trunk, this opens the trunk, trunk is the front trunk where you still have room for bags. Uh, here you can open the left door, here you can open the right door all automatically. Here you can open the wing door on the left side, here the wing door on the right side. So let's have a look how that looks like. Additionally to those ones, there are special carpet in the car. These carpets there are more thicker with the Tesla logo on there. And here are the white seats in the back. You can control them by lifting them up. Then you can flip those seats over. And when you flip those seats over, here you can load more. Uh, the upper compartment I have removed that you have more space for, space for luggage. This one is in case you want to protect the upper part of the windshield. Let me show you that where that upper part of the windshield is. From here, in case it gets really warm, it's very raw. So you will see here that car, it looks like a helicopter screen. The upper portion from the mirror on all the way to the top, you can put that screen on, it falls on and then you have the capability to uh, have a better protection. All of the windows are in the tinted for an additional protection. And the tires are Pirelli Scorpion tires, zero on it, as well as 22 inch wheels in black, actually satin black. The entire car is blacked out or chrome deleted. There's no chrome on that car. And what you also have on the entire car as protection, there is an extra clear coat on it. Oh, it's about a half a millimeter thick and it protects the car. If you leave the car in the sun, some it even have a certain self-healing effect. So let's go to the rear of the car and open the trunk and see what else is in the trunk. So it can also do that with the mode control. Here is an extra carpet in there, also with the Tesla logo. When, and this is, as you can see, really thick carpet. And that's actually how I like it. Uh, there is a lower compartment here. And in that lower compartment, let me open that, there's a whole bunch of more stuff. There is charging equipment there where you can charge. 
there's also the cleaning and also uh, an, an air pump as well as all of the equipment what you need uh, for a trailer hitch. And there are some tools here and what you have also here is that when you don't deselect that option you will have these types of stickers from my rental car company on the car. These stickers will be here in the back of the car and on the side of the doors. If you don't like to have those stickers, do not remove them. If you don't like to have them, then you would have to pay $10 more. Please let me know ahead of time if you would like to have the upper uh, uh, protection here. And there are two of these, uh, or the upper uh, portion of that. Then let me know, I can take that out with the additional carpet on it. And in this time, you will have a flat surface all the way flat to the back of the seats. This is the far beige egg of a car. It's a beautiful car. It is excellent for traveling or traveling with longer distances. And As you can see, it looks gorgeous. If you want to close all in one, you can do that with the key as well. Just triple click on the top and then everything closes all together. So there's really privacy glass in the back. There's nobody can look through. And when you're ready, you can start. So now how to, car, how to start the car and drive the car is pretty easy. How to start it, you press your foot on the pedal, on the brake pedal. Yeah. And from here the car is started. Now, to shift the gears, you put the car in up to reverse and then you can start driving. At that same time, the back camera is coming on, as you can see. Now, shift the gear back down to go front and then it reacts like an automatic. Or back up and it's been like reverse with the camera. Now, how to navigate it, you are putting the car in. This was how to put the air conditioning on and how to navigate it is actually pretty easy. So let me cancel this, put your finger there. And then, for example, we're going to go to Suaro Lake. Oh, that was the wrong address. We're going to go to Suaro Lake here. The navigation system will find that location and then gives you a position where to drive and gives you the best position to go to the Suaro Lake. Yeah, that's all for that. And then you can start driving. And driving is very simple. Just put the foot on the pedal and you drive. If you remove the foot of the pedal, when you come to an intersection or have to stop, the Grand car Tom is Bible regenerating and then you can see that there it shows green when it's putting the energy back into the battery. It basically, it, it breaks with regenerative braking by putting the foot of the pedal. You almost could drive the car with one pedal. Going forward, when you push the foot on the pedal, you are pulling energy and it looks like orange when you're pulling energy and all of the other conditions are the same way the navigation system will get you to the next location that's all what you have to consider in case you drove the standard package which comes with 
chill mode means reducing your power and reducing your speed to 80 miles per hour otherwise you have unlimited and the car has a pretty fast pickup so when you come from the highway you will drive Litchfield Road and on that Litchfield Road instead of going left to the parking lot where you received the car you are going to the right to the cobblestone car wash which is just at the intersection of Indian School Road and Litchfield Road. You turn right here and here you will go to the car wash option. This will be full service and the car wash cart will be in your car. There so. will be a clean sanitation and basic wash with the car and you will then go in this section full service and have the car cleaned and then I will pick up the car after the cleaning from here. Before that we for sure we will do a full checkout. And uh, that is completing your journey with the Model X and if you are one of my YouTube channel subscribers you are sure for get a special rebate and uh, Please let me know. You can write it under this movie in the comment that hey, I'm a subscriber for you, for your channel. If you like that movie, shoot a thumbs up and subscribing does not cost you anything. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the car and uh, come right back if you like it or if you want to buy a car, a Tesla, one of those marvelous machines, then use my referral code. That's all and talk to you the next time. Bye bye. The way you make me shiver, your hands on my silver, keep pulling the trigger, right? This very finger for people like them. Oh, no, no. But darling, oh, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown.